So let's have a look at the SQL. tab with inside the toolkit. So with this we'll use some simple SQL commands and see what the responses are. So I've created a simple database. So in this case we have first name, surname, full address, test1, test2, gender and age. And this is within the DB1 table. So one of the most simple commands that we have is just to select all the records from our table. So we'll just run that. So we can see here we've got five records, first name, surname, full address and so on. So let's order by, so we'll order by surname. So we'll just run that and we can see here the surname has been ordered. And we could order by age. So then we can see that this, this column here has been used to order the records returned. So we can see, uh, find the first name, where the gender is male, or find it where it's female. We can get the first name back from the database where it's male, and we can obviously get the last surname also when it's male. So in this case, the first and last are actually Smith, so that's why it returns the same value twice. Okay, so let's have a look at returning the maximum age as a, age as a function. And so hopefully we should get 56 for this. And we'll use the minimum function and we get 22 for that one. And then we can count the counted number of first names when the age is less than 30. Now we can get multiple values back, so we'll get the first name and the surname from our table. Now what we'll do is that we'll get it when it's male, and also we get test 1 returned here. So let's say we want the ages between 10 and 50. This will return that. Let's run that. So each of the v these statements is going to the the database and been and a response is coming back. So let's look for any surname beginning with the letters S and M. So we see we get three coming back and let's see when it's not that. We can look when it starts with an with an A, an S or a U. And we can see here we get four coming back. And then we can define if it's within set a set. So in this case it will only return the records where the age is 22, 56 or 33. And so on. So let's look at another example. So we'll do our listing again. But this time what we'll do is that we'll, we'll update one of the records. So in this case we want to update Bob Malcolm's record for test 1. So let's see, we've made a mistake and his mark should be 80%. So update DB1 table set test 1 equal to 80 where the surname is Malcolm. Okay, so that's been a success. And we'll list our database again. And we can see here that his mark has now been set to 80 for test 1. Now what we'll do is that, let's say we want to insert a, a new record. So insert db1 bat, so we'll go for Bobby here. Bobby Allen, 111, 100, 100. So we'll not make him so good. We'll give him 90 and we'll give him 70 here. And it's just his birthday, so make him 51 there. OK, so we've inserted that. Now we go back, run the command again, and we can see that Bobby has now been added. Let's say we, we want to get rid of Bobby's record. So, oops. so let's say we want to get rid of the first name. 
Bobby. So now we'll delete from that table where the first name is Bobby. So hopefully there isn't any other records. So when we run that, we get a success. And we do a list again so we can see he's now gone. Okay, so this is a very simple introduction to the SQL commands. Obviously, a database can be used, a database package such as Access, to, to modify any of the contents of the database.